I I got knocked down and I ain't been back up. Good morning. Oh gosh. It's super early. It's like nine. I am up, showered, and trying to just figure out what's gonna be the best schedule for my day. Um I wanted to film two videos today. Um, but then I remembered that I have a package I have to pick up before noon because I have an Amazon grocery order from Whole Foods that comes at 11. I don't know, guys. When I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. I think for now, I'm just going to set up because no matter what, filming is getting done. So I might as well set up the cameras and... Um, Get some sunlight. I'm very excited because I actually bought a vlogging camera that's supposed to come on Monday. Um, can I show y'all my outfit? Okay. So I just have on like this Fashion Nova, um, like loose top. I have it scrunched right here. Leather bralette and my leather skirt. So I may unscrunch this a little. Haven't decided yet, but that's the outfit. Let's get some sun. What I'm filming is, um, it's not a clothing haul. So I don't have to worry about changing. I don't have to worry about changing in front of people because sometimes your girl does that. Sometimes I change right in front of my window and just hope for the best. I'm actually thinking of throwing out all my beauty blenders with the exception of one, the one that came in the Rugrats um, hip dot collection and getting all new ones because I seriously have not got new ones in a long time. And I was thinking of like, okay, just wait until there's like a Sephora sale, but I really want to do that. Hola, mamicitos and papicitos. It is like 1230. I went so far over the time allotted for filming that it ain't even funny, y'all. It ain't even funny. And I am starving. Literally starving. So, I got some groceries delivered um, from Whole Foods. And, um, but yeah, I still kind of want breakfast. I don't know. I think I'm gonna whip me up, whip, whip me up, whip me up some breakfast. Um, I ended up filming a dating horror story and then um, I got reminded of another dating horror story that I don't even know why it wasn't even on my radar to tell. And um, so I was like, you know what? Let me tell that one while I was fresh in my mind. So I filmed that one. And then when I was getting up from filming that one, I remembered another one that wasn't even on my radar. 
And I was like, okay, just write that one down because I'm not finna film three videos. My stomach was barking like whoa, 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 through the whole video. So we had to x -nay that. Um, I'm not gonna be able to pick up the package from my eye doctor. Um, I really want this frame. It's made by Guess. He's having a really hard time getting it um, because they did a billboard with the frame. So it like blew up and everybody bought it. And I think it's actually a couple of seasons old. So he's still working on that. And I kind of want to pick up my contacts and my glasses all at the same time. But um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that at this point. So, but anyways, I'm rambling and I'm starving. So y'all like this? I got this shirt from Lovely Wholesale. Um, it's like not really a shirt. It's just like faking the funk of a shirt. And I like that because it's like I was getting hot. So when I switched to this shirt, it was like, okay. So, yeah. This is it. I'm kind of thinking I should get a little quick little Instagram pic. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to give me a quick little Insta pic, but I'll catch you guys after I eat. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, I can't tell you the good without telling you the bad. Um. So, yeah, yesterday was supposed to be a complete and total Sunday fun day. And... I got up, was making me some breakfast, and I slipped one foot on the floor, one foot on my mat, which does not move. Like, it's not, it's a non-slip mat. So, what happens when one foot won't slide and the other one has all the slip? Your girl went into the split at like 40 miles per hour. Now... Little unknown fact about me is I was actually a cheerleader. I was actually on dance team. Um, I can do the splits. Um, but you could do the splits this way or you could do the splits. But you could do the splits this way with this leg being prominent and this one being back or this way. I can't do the splits with my left leg is that right with my left leg out because I pulled my groin muscle many years ago and once you pull your groin muscle it's really easy to pull it again so it's not the issue that I went into the splits although early in the morning haven't stretched old as hell ain't been a cheerleader in years it ain't the best it ain't the best situation so I went into this place, boom, fast. The issue was, I have a galley kitchen. So this foot, yes, yeah, did I mention I was cooking? Okay. This foot went under the cabinet. This foot went under the pantry, and it was locked. Locked with me like this. So the only way to get up would be if somebody came behind me and lifted me up, right? Right? Because this was lodged, this was lodged. So I had no choice but to lean back like this and bring this foot in, which resulted in this hip popping out of socket. Now it wasn't a whole big pop. It was just slightly out of socket. So I sat on the floor like Peter Griffin Then I got myself up. Keep in mind, I had enough sense, though. As soon as I landed in the splits, before I figured out what I was going to do to push my food off the stove. Because I'm not going to have that and not have food, right? So I stood up and I limped around the kitchen, finished making my breakfast. Because, I mean, I knew it was only going to get worse from that point. 
Might as well finish doing what I was doing. And I ate breakfast and my leg was like numb from my hip down to my ankle. Other leg is fine. Nothing wrong there. Remember, that's the leg that can do whatever it wants to do. So my mom happened to be coming over. So she's like, okay, let's just pop your hip back in. So I lay back, take my leg, and we basically pop my hip back in. Felt way better. In the scheme of things, in the scheme of things, it going back in the socket, it felt 10 times better, which is saying a lot because it still hurts pretty bad. It doesn't hurt when I sit. It doesn't hurt when I lay. Um, it mainly, it only hurts when I have to take a step. Standing, it's fine. It's when I have to take a step and bear weight that it was unbearable now. It's just extremely sore. Um, so yeah, I'm laying on the couch right now. Um, I'm laying on the couch. Shout out to my mom and my boyfriend because my boyfriend wasn't here when it happened, but he was in the process of helping his aunt who had fell, his sister who had fell, and his dad. So as soon as he got done going from one person to the other person to the other person, he calls me like, hey, I'm about to go to work. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I popped my hip out my socket. And he's like, no, I'm coming. And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. But he came anyway. So he literally spent all day yesterday hopping from person to person, person to person. I was like, I feel bad that I derailed this whole day. Um, but yeah, my mom for the save with the with the uh, the hip popping it back in. I mean, my mama be mama in, okay? Like, trust me, that's small on the scale of nurse duties my mom has had. When I had the spider bite, I was in convalescent at her house because they wouldn't let me live by myself. That's how bad it was. And my mom was, my mom and my sister took shifts like my mom was at night and early in the morning and my sister was the majority of the day so when i say my family come through in a clutch they come through in a clutch okay so i um am just sitting here on the couch because man the amount of soreness like i know in like two days I'm going to have like a sore groin muscle just because it's inevitable. But long as like the hip is back in, child, I can deal with all the other stuff. I just got to let this initial soreness go down and I'm thinking I'll be better tomorrow. But I just have to let y'all know, your girl was, uh, I mean, it was like eight o'clock in the morning. My body is like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are at night at eight o'clock in the morning that you finna do the split to like 40 miles per hour? Like, girl, no stretching, no nothing. Crazy, crazy. Hope your muscles warmed up. You can't be lazy. Get loose. This is what I like to call smash bang fusion. Gotta focus, mama. You don't wanna get a cush contusion. I mean, just thank God for muscle memory. Because that could have been painful. The actual split didn't hurt. Thank goodness. But just thank God for muscle memory after all this time. After all this time. And I don't I, I try to maintain my flexibility, like touching my toes or putting the bottom of my feet together and pulling them in close. Like I do things like that, but I haven't actually actively done the split on purpose probably since like 2012 just to show myself I still had it so what's that 10 years child it's a wonder I was able to get up by myself it's a, it's a wonder that only one hip hurt okay we talking about Miracle on I ain't finna say my street.
okay all right guys i'm currently using my swift for resin cane <laughs> what is my life i'm currently using my swiffer as a cane and it's doing an amazing job guys i mean because this grip is like really gripping the floor so i could put as much of my weight on it and it don't slide child i've been using this for over 24 hours now okay especially in the room that caused the issue but I'm about to make me some iced coffee. Um, oh wait, did I? I had iced coffee, but that that was decaf. I won't get a lot. I won't get a lot. Uh, but I actually ordered some Pete's coffee. Um, cause I didn't want to have to stand up and make breakfast. I got the everything. <coughs> <coughs> The Everything Bagel plant-based sandwich. And the uh, uh, vegan oat brand blueberry muffin. I like oat brand muffins. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna... It's gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do is get all the way over there and then reach back over here for this. Because... Uh, a soreness... Uh, oh, ow. Every now and then I get like a sharp pain. So, that means it's time for me to go sit down. Stir this up. Let's see if I need sugar. Hmm. Not at all. Ooh, so that's the move. Ugh. Shit. That's the move. I'm gonna um get the unsweetened from now on. And then add the creme brulee. It's much better. It actually pretty much tastes the same so might as well you know I don't know how to, I can't walk with the cane hold this and hold y'all so all right guys <clears throat> ow so this is the camera I play with the settings a little bit and I like where it is now um is on my tripod so it works on my tripod um the only issue i have is um the kit lens is the 15 14 15 mm, 15 by 45 this is 15 this is it open up to the max and to me it's a little close the other option would be for me to use my other lens, which is the the 11 to 22, but that is a much bigger lens. Yeah, so I don't know, just mumblings, mumblings of me. But um, yeah, all in all, um, this camera. I kind of want to do a video on it only because I know there are a lot of people who watch me that are either into photography or do YouTube or do Instagram and you can actually do really good quality Instagram photos with this camera with this lens in general um, I'm gonna insert a picture a couple of pictures that I've done content wise with this camera with just the standard kit lens let alone using one of my more sophisticated lenses but um i think because i had the canon m50 i want to say for doo -doo -doo. wow i want to say at this point i've had it a year and a half 
Let me see something. Y'all, my YouTube anniversary is e it passed. Child. But it's ironic. My YouTube anniversary just passed. And then today, I just hit 2,000 subscribers. And I mean, I know there are some of you, well, most of you who watch other people on YouTube who have a million, have a 100,000 and all that. So it's like my little 2,000 is just like, oh, uh, okay. But no, in the YouTube world, starting from zero and getting 2,000, Man, that takes some blood, sweat, and tears. Like, there are ways you can go about it. Trust, some of your faves have done it. They have bought subscribers. And when you buy subscribers, yeah, you'll get, like, you know, 10,000. You'll get, like, you know, 20,000. But those fake subscribers don't actually click watch your videos or anything so it does nothing for you it just is a vanity matrix so to acquire each individual subscriber on your own i'm feeling it i'm proud of myself my little 2000 so what i did and let me just check something here I'm trying to tell y'all exactly how long i had that camera okay so i got that camera a year and a half ago so um i've done a lot with the camera so i feel like it would be now would be a good time to explain why someone who has an m50 if you know cameras or even if you've been looking if you've been looking at cameras the m50 has come up it is next to the sony um it's like a Z something. I don't remember. It's a Sony camera that is always recommended. The M50 is another one that's always recommended. And then the Canon GX7, which is what I was looking in between. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to do the video. Even if, if you guys as my subscribers don't want to see it and you choose not to click it, that's perfectly fine. It'll probably be a bonus video anyways. But on the off chance that there is someone who is looking to get more of a clear, concise understanding of the difference between the cameras um, and the price difference and the lenses and all that, I'm thinking that I may do a video just because when I was looking, I only saw one other person who had the M50 and who had the M200 and um, her name is Brooke Ava. And it looks like we started our channel around the same time. And she started her channel with the M200. I started mine with the M50. She ended up buying the M50. I ended up buying the M200. So her video was very helpful to me. Um, so I kind of, you know, uh, we were going and talking in the comments and kind of comparing things or whatever. And I asked her a specific, I asked her questions like regarding um, her setup, her settings and stuff. And um, based on the conversation that we had between each other, I was like, you know what? I should probably do um, a video because that just further proved to me that besides her video, I didn't really see anything out there that would answer the questions that I had prior to getting both cameras. So. If that interests you, a more detailed like video regarding the difference or regarding the camera in general, just, you know, subscribe. Not subscribe, I'm sorry. You subscribe, of course. But you can also turn on post notifications because that probably won't be a Wednesday or Sunday video. That'll probably, I'll probably post something like that on a Friday. Usually if I do a tech video, because I'm very much into tech, like phones and, you know, stuff like that. Um... I will do it on like a Friday um, and that's kind of what it's looking like it'll probably be like a Friday video if you don't like post notifications or whatever but um, I'm feeling better y'all uh, my mama just left and helped me vote today was the last day to vote by a uh, mailer ballot so um, she came over here and we discussed 
the candidates and we looked everything up and searched it. Um, for those of you who don't know, my mom actually um, went to law school. My mom has graduated from law school. Um, and I majored in political science and criminal justice. So one thing we've kind of always had in common is law, politics, things like that. So she came over here, we went through everything. Um, and I, you know, some people I would just be like, you know what? I don't know. I ain't even researched that. Like, I'm just going to put whatever you put, keep it real with you. Because I know me and her have similar, you know, feelings towards all of that. But, um, yeah. So, I voted. It's finna be crazy. It's finna be crazy. So, um, I will, it'll probably be a nice big skip in this vlog from here until the end of the week. Unless something interesting comes up. It won't make a difference to you guys, but I'm just keeping it real. I have so much to do between now and Wednesday, um, that the vlog is probably most definitely gonna hop. And I hate when I do that to you guys, but at least now I'm telling you in advance. Tuesday's dentist, Wednesday's doctor, tomorrow is big meeting and dentist. Thursday, I have to take them curtains back to Whole Foods or their minds. Um, yeah, so we'll see. But anyways, enough rambling. Um, as you guys can see, I'm just using this conversation to use this camera because I'm just so happy to be able to do this. Yes, I could have used my other camera, but I'd be so, it'll be in the video. It'll be in the video why I didn't use the other camera. But all right guys, deuces. It's been a couple of days later guys and um, I'm using the Swiffer as like a cane my um hip feels a lot better but now it's just extremely sore so i'm trying to let it heal without bearing weight on it so um i also got these tattooed chef burrito balls I threw them in the deep freezer as soon as they came, but um, I haven't eaten, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and partake in one of those. Ooh, everything I got was non-perishable, with the exception of that. So this is it, tattooed chef. So you get six bowls. I'm gonna wipe this down cook it up, and then come back and tell you guys how I like it. I stirred everything up, but it was like a thick layer of cheese that actually looked like cheddar, and it melted really good. I stirred everything up. Okay, so let's test it. It's really good. All right, guys, so I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Um, not much of a vlog. I... I got knocked down and I ain't been back up. So since my fall, I'm still limping. I still can't bear that much weight. My hip is in fact back in the socket. It's just now it's extremely, so hey, that kind of pulls your double chin back, huh? Look at that. Catfishing y'all. But yeah, um, it kind of like feels like a really bad charlie horse but just all down my leg and then sometimes i'll stand up and it'll be like perfectly fine i'll be like oh wait wow are you better like it'll be a little stiff but it'll be okay and then i'll go sit down and get back up and it'll be like all seized up locked up so the bane of my existence i haven't been outside in the sun since thursday of last week i want to say i'm gonna go because my voice is clearly leaving the building so i won't have much to talk about and i am recording this last little clip on my phone because gimp leg was nothing get up and go in the living room and get that camera that's just was not gonna happen i'm still using the swiffer like a cane um 
Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm going to get myself together, guys. And hopefully next week you're going to be like, girl, remember when? That's all I want to see in the comments. Like, not this vlog, but next vlog. All I want to see in the comments is like, girl, remember you had bronchitis and then you pulled your hip out of socket and then your cycle was finna come. So you just like on death doorknob. Yeah. Just, I'll be happy to see those comments. All right, guys. Pray for you, girl. Deuces. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow.